this thing because it's very dangerous. This is Fiarhan from Somalia. He managed to reach Malta years ago and never left. This is my position that when I was 64 this boat. We are seven days in the sea. We are 29, include of two children, and we lost two passengers on the way. They try to swim because we lost the motor. When I go back for my memorial, it is hard to remind for the situation that you pass on the risk life. And when you sick again, you feel happy. Dayo is kept in a detention center while they process his request for refugee status. There he kills time with doing simple work. I'm here now for seven months. This is my seventh month. They go through your cases and see why you want to seek an asylum. And I have to stay for four months or five more. In the past 10 years, 9,000 people requested refugee status in Malta. About half of them still live there in detention centers or centers with tents. In my room, we're having 98 people. You know, to stay at a one place for one year is very hard. And because of this kind of frustration, we ourselves do fight ourselves inside because everyone is tired with this kind of detention period. So anything that someone says or do gets you anger. We have to take it easy because we have no choices. We need help from them, so we have to cooperate with them and we have no choices. I doing uh, interpreter and some social uh, service for uh, open centers for the refugee camp. This is my room. We live here uh, too. And here, another two of my friends, they live here. There are eight people that sleep here. Now only three they are sleep. Other day I went out for searching work. We are here in 12 in number, in two room. I'm working, but the other day he's not working. It's difficult to live for the situation. Here the roof, we used to wash clothes and handling. Malta is island and there is a lot of immigrants. If you're not working, it's difficult. It's difficult to live in Malta. Unidentified bodies wash ashore Malta frequently, as well as on many other places along the Mediterranean coastline. Statistics estimate that one out of 100 boat refugees don't survive the trip. To make a voyage on the sea is not easy. It's very hard. I always do hear news, and if when boat comes, maybe the, now the, the crew on board will tell you we were 20 on board, but 10 died. We were 30 on board, five died. Or they can all die and it will remain one, only one person. One thing is sure, traveling by boat can be a risky operation, but many people still try. Would you risk your life traveling by boat to Europe? And why? On the website, there are plenty of opportunities to share your opinions, join discussions, or get information. Let us know. So imagine you enter the European mainland by plane or by boat. Basically, once you get to Europe, you need no visa to cross the borders. 
in the United Kingdom, it's a different case. The French harbor of Calais is the main gateway into Britain for cargo transport over the road. The big lorries and trucks that cross the border seem to be an ideal spot to hide in. Many migrants try to enter the UK this way. But British and French customs work together to prevent illegal migration into England. Anyone who is detected will be sent back. Can you imagine hiding silently between the cargo for days with limited food and water? The customs have modern equipment to do their checks, like carbon dioxide measuring tools. Your breath contains carbon dioxide, so high ratings may cause your detection. And then they have heartbeat detection equipment that reveals the presence of human beings in the trucks. If the machine gives a red warning, they go into action. Right, we're opening it because the heartbeat machine detected uh, two reds, which means, uh, and then one green, which means we're unsure as to what's inside. Well, you can hold your breath for some time, but to stop the heart from beating, Sometimes people are so hard to find that dogs that are specially trained to smell human presence help the officers locate strawways in the cargo. Good lad. He will search a vehicle when I tell him to, um, and his indication if there are people present in the back of, uh, back of the vehicle, he will uh, freeze and sit and stare at the point where he's getting most amount of scent from the vehicle. Good lad. At the moment it's on 1890, which is uh, twice as high as it's normally expected. 